going on you guys thanks for joining me for another video today and if you're new here my name is Katie and I make typically make videos about recipes vegan parenting all that good stuff but I do have this mini series for my cloth diapering routine my wash and what cloth diapers I use I've been cloth diapering both of my babies. Um, my two and a half year old is out of cloth diapers now, thank goodness. Um, but I cloth diapered her, and then now I'm cloth diapering my six month old. So solid, I've been cloth diapering for over two and a half years. And these are just the things that I have picked up over the years and what works for me, what's the fastest, most efficient, all that good stuff. So. Um, today I'm just going to be bringing you my wipes solution and what I use for my wipes, which wipes I use, all that good stuff. Mostly I use these wipes and they are, um, they are edged. I don't know what you call this, but they are lined at the edge with, um, thread and some of them in the wash, I mean, it's like I said, two and a half years, some of them are a little bit Afraid. And then I also have some of these that I made myself. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can try this too. You might recognize these little uh, blankets. And I just got this from the thrift store and I just cut them into eight by eight, eight inches by eight inches to match these. And they work out pretty good. I mean, these do definitely fray more than the ones that you buy. But overall, I'm happy with both of them. Really, they work, they do the job. And then I also use this cloth diaper, or actually it's a wipes warmer. And this one in particular is the Prince Lionheart brand. I've had this for a while, so the heater went out on it. So you don't have to use a warmer. If your baby is sensitive and they're kind of fussy at changing time, then maybe try a warmer because it's a nice little luxury for them, like a nice little warm cloth on their bottom, but you don't have to. My little one actually prefers the cold ones at this point. Like he laughs, he thinks it's funny when we wipe his butt with a cold wipey, it's kind of cute. So you do whatever fits in with you. And if you don't have a wipe warmer or a container, you can just use a little bin whatever you have works. So this here, and then um, I just get a jar and I put in all of the stuff that I'm going to be using. I use this vitamin E oil blend from Trader Joe's. You can totally use any oil that you want to. It just kind of adds a little bit of moisture to their skin so it's not super dry. I uh, will use coconut oil sometimes. I will use you could use all, um, olive oil if you wanted to, avocado oil, you know, those type of cooking oils. Those are, I mean, obviously you eat them. They're clean enough to eat, so they're definitely clean enough to put on your baby's bum. You can use argan oil, any oil that you want to, okay? So this is the oil. I added some in here already. And so about a tablespoon of the oil. Then um, you're going to be using some sort of essential oils. Um, I either use this tea tree oil or a lavender oil and I will link this stuff below in the description box but you want to get a food grade oil because you don't want it to be synthetic and you want it to be very clean and preferably organic so I do have organic oil here this one's tea tree like I said <clears throat> you can also use lavender and this basically kills any lingering bacteria that's in with your wipes because your wipes are going to be sitting for you know a couple days maybe in the solution and if you just put water and oil then the bacteria will possibly flourish and you don't want that obviously you want clean wipes for your baby's bum so i highly recommend using an oil it's an antibacterial so two or three drops of this in the whole thing. So you don't need much. So I already added this as well, three drops in here. And then I'm going to be using this, it's called Puracy Baby Wash. I also got it on Amazon, I'll link it below. Um, you can use any baby wash that you want because they're pretty typically for sensitive skin and they wipe away really easily. So you don't wanna add a ton of soap, but just like if you have a pump, use one or two pumps. And then as far as the squeezy bottle goes, just add about a teaspoon in. I eyeball it at this point. I did also put this in already into my jar. 
So now we are going to be adding the wipies. So at one point I did sit and I folded all my wipies really pretty. So they would come out of the top like each one, just like a regular wipe pack. But I found that pretty tedious and at this point, being a mom of two, I don't really have a ton of time to sit and do that. If you do, then go for it. And it is kind of meditative to sit and fold them all nice and pretty. I will show you really quick the way that I did it if you're interested in doing it this way. So you just basically lay it flat and you get another one. Lay it halfway on, then fold the first one over and then, and then add a new one to where the folded one is and then fold the second one over the new one. And then you just kind of continue that pattern, adding a new one and then folding the old one over. So it's kind of fun and then, um, once you pull them out of the hole, it just continues to stay together. So it's kind of magical and kind of fun, but again, kind of time consuming and I don't really feel like doing that. So I just put them into the wipies container by themselves. Just kind of throw them in loosely so they're not all stuck together. And I fill it up to where it will still close. but you want them pretty packed in there so you don't have to like refill it too often. Okay, so now what I'm gonna be doing with the three ingredients, I'm just gonna be adding some warm water. You can add whatever water you want. I usually add the warm filtered water just because I know that it's pure. If you use tap water, sometimes tap water can contain uh, contaminants and even um, chlorine, stuff like that. And I just prefer not to use that. So I'm gonna go put some warm water in here. Okay, so I've got the warm water here and I would add the ingredients first, then the water, because as you're adding the water, it just mixes it for you and you don't have to take the extra time to sit and mix it together with a spoon or something. So it's all mixed together, you can kind of see. If you notice that your wipes are too dry, then just add more water next time, or if they are too wet, add less water next time, obviously, okay? You'll figure out what works for you. So I'm just gonna be pouring this in. It's really hot, okay? Perfect, and then you're good. One more thing that I do want to mention is that I do have a little spray bottle with a couple drops of lavender in it and water. And if my baby has like really stuck on poop or something like that, I will spray his little bottom with this first and then I'll wipe him down. So that really works well if you know your baby is like has really super stuck poop. So try that or if your wipes are just not quite wet enough and they don't do the job, just have a little spray bottle nearby and you can wet down your wipes with this so you don't have to like run to get some extra water while you're at your changing table or something. So like I said, all of those things will be linked down below if you're interested in getting any of those things and I wish you luck on your cloth diapering journey. You guys can do this. It's not as hard as it seems. Once you get it down, you get into the groove of things and it becomes second nature. So, and it's totally worth it, you guys. Like, I love it. I mean, it's definitely a selfless act of love because it's not the easiest thing and it does take a little bit of extra time to do, but you are helping to save the planet and you're doing something really good and your karma will come back to you in a really good way. So, one little bonus tip that I learned from someone here on YouTube and I don't remember who it was or else I would tag her. I This is like a low to zero waste hack for diapering in general, even if you don't cloth diaper, but just get a really soft washcloth and in the center of the washcloth, just open it up and in the center of it, just dump some arrowroot powder or cornstarch, whichever one you have on hand. They're both work the same way. So you put about two tablespoons or so into the center of this and then you bring the four corners of it up like this. Very simple. Get a hair tie or an elastic and then tie it around it. Very cool. And you will have your own baby puff. So basically this is your low waste, zero waste baby powder and it's in this 
its own little container. It's really kind of fun and you can puff their little booties and um, keep some of the moisture off their butts. So that's a tip for um, babies that get rashy when they're too moist. This will definitely help with that. Thank you so much friends for watching this video today. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I hope you like this video and click the like button down below so more people can see this video and find this video and I hope that it was helpful to you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.